there is one possibility after the inspection by the experts here is that there is a possibility that when the patients on the 32nd floor is defecating, we know now that the fecal material actually contains the virus. While he's defecating, the fecal material go into the sewage system. There is a vent of air that comes through the venting pipe, go to the top floor, and then maybe being aerosolized in the air, and then a droplet try to settle, but while at the same time when there's a light wind blowing, in which <coughs> the air current going over the rooftop carry the particle back, <coughs> back into the top floors. And of course, a 30 floor fall is the top floor. That is the most dangerous, followed by 33 and 32. According to the calculations of the experts, uh, if we quarantine five floors is enough, but we want to have some safety margin. So we have this uh, all six floor from the top being quarantined. And that should be a reasonable uh, safety margin to ensure that the residents on the 13 unit and the 14 unit on all six floor are uh, being removed from the site of danger. Because we do not know whether this pipe is still going to produce more infected aerosolized particle. That at this stage in time, we do not know. We know that coronavirus can survive in fecal material for quite a number of days. And so it is just a precautionary measure that we must remove the residents from the top sixth floor uh, in the units 13 and 14 uh, for a period of time.